Andrew Cox, the president of international business, and also the carry business in Hutchison Global Communication, based in Hong Kong. Basically, what I can see is that the carrier trend in the network is divided into three different areas. The first one is obviously software-defined network. So everyone is talking about the software-defined. Other than to save money, save the maintenance or whatsoever, basically it is a trend that we would like to simplify and standardize the operation and also our interaction with our customer. So with software-defined, it will help us to achieve that goal as soon as possible. Second, about security. As we all know that in the past one week, what the world has experienced. But uh, security is more and more important, and we are putting a lot of security emphasis into our network. Only the reason is that shared network is more and more, and other than that, the network is more open and open, day by day. Okay? So security is the second one that the carry is talking about. Obviously, when you talk about software defined, when you're talking about the security and everything, it is not avoidable that you have to think about your interconnection regime between the carrier. In the past, we're talking about years of experience in the network architecture of interconnection, but now we are going into a, another regime of the interconnection, which includes the security, involve the security and also the software defined uh, uh, architecture. So those are the three items that we are discussing among ourselves aggressively and would like to draw some conclusion as soon as possible. Uh, we see the ODT uh, other than the inward looking, that means they're taking care of their own location in country or in region. Because of the globalization, personalization and also the granularization, so all the ODT are outwards looking, most of the ODT are outwards looking. So that means the traffic will not be resized in the home area or the home country, but instead is spreading out all over the world. So as an international carrier, we do have a responsibility to fulfill this market requirement by expanding our network on the horizontal way. More to that, on the vertical way is to enhance our service so that we can bring the every little bit all over the world in an acceptable, if not better, service level. Hong Kong, in a geographical, geographical point of view, is a, uh, by default a uh, transit point in the center of Asia. When you take a look at the cable, submarine cable landing uh, uh, station, uh, the transit, the peak, okay, Singapore, Hong Kong, Japan, always important. But more to that, Hong Kong is important in a, another sense that it is a gateway into China and from China as a springboard to go to the international. So if you can see, take a look at, at all the international carrier appears in Hong Kong, you will, you will absolutely agree with me in this uh, 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 the aspect that I mentioned. So Hong Kong will keep the important position as a geographical location and also as a main gateway into China and out from China. So I can see that this trend will not be diminished, but instead it will be further enhanced. For the OTT market, same. 